Hey gang, um, I'm doing this video for just to tell you how important things are here. I mean, we have uh, this life is a vapor of eternity. That's all it is. This life is a breath of eternity, and depending on how we live this life is going to depend on the rest of our eternal souls where we go. Now, I was in hell. I felt the total separation from God. Um, the, the screams, I mean, these people are in hell right now. There's people, and when I was in hell, I was in, the, I was in the center of the earth, and I knew it, and these people are still beneath our feet right now. These souls are burning in torment beneath our feet, however many miles it is to the center or wherever it's at there. That's where they're at, so they're in the center of the earth looking up. They're looking up wishing that they had just a second to come back here to repent, to give their life to Jesus Christ, but it's too late. And we're here just for such a minute second out of eternity. It's this life. So what I'm saying here is that th this is like, there's nothing in this world that should interest you. You know, this world is just, it's dead. It's dying. Everything in it is dying. Look at society. This place is, is an antichrist society at every angle you look at. Everything in society takes you away from Jesus Christ. And you have this prosperity message out there in these mainstream churches today and claim it and this and that. And it's like people are sitting here trying to accumulate things and materials. And you're accumulating things and materials and property and saving money. And for what? Because you can't bring anything with you when you leave here. No matter who you are, how much money you have, when you die, you're going right before the Lord. That's it. You, leave, you take nothing with you. This place, we're saving treasures up here for nothing and then we have to walk into eternity not prepared at all now I'm telling you when I was when I when I first seen Jesus when I had you know I had been going to church Catholic Church at that time and I had been going to church every time to see the Lord four or five times a day and then I realized that the Lord is with us the Lord is inside of us if we empty ourselves out Emptying ourselves out. I mean, every day you have to empty yourself out. When I mean, give glory to God. Give, empty yourself out. Lord, take away my, my humanness. Take away to my fleshly desires. Take away the things of my heart. Take away, let me die to this ego and pride of this world. And let me be humble. And let me try and walk with you and all these things. And focus on the Lord. And then throughout that day, it's very easy to focus on the Lord. Because everything that you're doing, you're already mindful. I'm not going to take part in this conversation. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. And the Holy Spirit will lead you through things. You navigate through your day relying on the Holy Spirit. As we empty ourselves out, the Holy Spirit comes and lives in us. If we just wake up and rush out and go here and there and here and there, then all you'll see that you'll take part in those conversations because your soul's already beaten down, because you're, you're already too confused. And this society today has everybody running in circles for... A certain reason for that's by agenda that's been created this situation that you live in with so many distractions and everything like that because the enemy wants you distracted from God so how many of you wake up in the morning and just take that time whatever it is 15 20 minutes half hour and just give it to God just lay there and relax and you say you don't have time but you do have time many people say I don't have time I just uh, you know and they give God their little grocery list prayer their drive-through prayer of what they want and that's it. They go to church their hour a week and they feel, well, they're doing him a favor or something. They know him. And what I'm calling you out to do is to come know him yourself. To die to yourself every day. Ask God in the morning, first thing, please empty me out. Please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me to represent you today and be the light in this dark world. Help me. Help me to come out of this world because we're called out of this world. But see, so many people are listening to these messages of prosperity, this and that. Did Jesus come here in a prosperous situation? Was he born in some kind of castle or kingdom or, you know, born to anything of lavishness? No. Was he trying to acquire the things of this world? No. Did he conform? Was he politically correct? Not at all. But you'll have people who will say, well, I believe in Jesus, but I want to chase these things that he did not chase. And Jesus tells us that if you love the world, that the love of the Father is not in you. That we are to come out of this world, that we are in it, but not of it. Obviously, we're here, but we're not to be of it. We're not to take part in the things of this world. So, 
Come out of this thing. Come out of this world. Come out of society. Believe me, if society loves you, then you're not walking with the Lord. Because when we walk with the Lord, we're persecuted. We are the oddballs. We are the ones who everybody says, you're crazy. You're crazy. What is wrong with you? Who cares if we watch this movie or listen to this music? It's no big deal. It's no big deal if we celebrate this or take part in this or that. He knows our hearts. It's okay. It's okay if we just chase this money and chase this and chase that to acquire things and all this. It's like Jesus Christ is alive and I never knew that. I never knew that. When I would go to church, I would pray and, and things like that. And I didn't know that I could have a personal relationship. I didn't know that I could pray to Jesus Christ. I didn't know that the, the Lord will lead us through the Holy Spirit. I didn't understand that. And so many people believe that they're just going to heaven. They go one hour a week and they feel like, hey, you know what? You're, let, you're allowing, you're relying on some person, pastor, priest, whatever, to bring you Jesus Christ. And you're not understanding that in many cases, these are businesses. You know, they have to bring people back next week because if people were speaking the truth from the pulpits today, then you wouldn't have anybody coming back to church because nobody wants to hear it. Today, everybody wants their own right and wrong, their own, you know, they want to just be tickled in their ears. They don't want truth. They don't want to hear about repentance. They don't want to hear that hell is real. And as I made this video, I'm seven minutes in, I, how many countless number of souls have dropped into hell? You know how many people end up in hell and they never even know that it exists? He brought me there to warn people, to come to you and say, hey, look, I don't have some theologian background. I don't have this or that. I didn't come from prestige or anything like that. But I'm telling you that hell is real. I'm telling you with all of me that hell is real. I know I'm on borrowed time. I know I've seen this place. I've seen these demons, guys. I've seen demons in the physical, just as I'm in standing here talking to you. I've had the Holy Spirit on me and seen demons in this world. I've seen these things. This is real. This isn't, you know, some people are wondering, is it real? Is it this? Is it that? You're, you know, the, the enemy that we fight is a spiritual enemy. That is who we fight. It's not the, not the human people you can see. Our battle is with the things that of the unseen that we cannot see. You have to come to Jesus Christ, pull out of this world. If you say you're following the Lord, then how can you take part or justify that you love the world? You love the Lord, but you love the world. You love the Lord, but you're chasing the money. You're chasing the things, the prestige, the, the materialism of this world. You're accepted by society because if you're a man of God, if you're walking with the Lord, then society will reject you. It's an antichrist society. They give you men of God, but very few of them are bringing you truth or truth about repentance or this or that. There's an agenda. They're always trying to twist you to lean towards this or that or prepare you for what's to come. Or, and, and you're blind and you're not going about seeking a personal relationship on your own. People are saying, well, can you pray and this and that? Well, pray for yourself. Get on your knees. You want to find God? You seek and you shall find. You want to ask Jesus into your heart? Then do it. Get on your knees and cry out and beg for him to come into your heart. Repent of the way that you've lived, the things that you have done. Don't be this. If you pay attention to this society, if you allow it in, if you allow the things of this world, which come at a thousand miles an hour from every direction to influence your life, then you won't be able to understand anything. You won't be able to even focus on God because you can't even focus on your own life. They keep you so busy. Come out of this thing. You don't have to be so busy. And when you say you don't have time, if you take away that garbage TV that you watch for five hours a day and these bogus reality shows and every other thing and these movies and this and that, then you have plenty of time right there for God. Instead of watching the TV, go lay on your face. Go get on your knees. Go get to know God. Go ask him into your heart and you'll be shocked when he does lead you. You'll be shocked when the Holy Spirit overcomes you. And now I see where he's led me. But many people are going to be drawn in here, guys. And I'm calling you. If you're just going and you're chasing the world and the materials of it, it's like ask yourself, is this what Jesus wanted? Did he want you to conform? Did he want you to be politically correct? Didn't he lay out what he wanted? And if he says that if you love the world and the love of the Father is not in you, then how do you justify that? Or do you just say, well... I listen to this, but I don't believe in this. Believe me, you need to come to Jesus Christ on your own and repentance. God offers repentance to everybody if you want to take it, but people love their sin too much. They love the way they live. They don't want to have to believe that they have to die to this world because they're in the world. And when you die to the world, then you're the weirdo. Then you're the Jesus nut. Then you're the guy who's in a cold or this or that. And that's how it comes about. 
then your family starts to say you're crazy your family who likes this or that you know and that's they want to go to Protestant church or Catholic church and you know everybody always believes they have the truth Protestant this that everybody believes they have the truth this church has a truth and you don't that's how it is and that's the problem when you did when you give your allegiance to a church and their mission statement blah 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 if you don't follow one or two of those things all of a sudden you're the weirdo or he don't believe in this or that and that's not even the case there's no mission statement with Jesus Christ it's come it's humiliate yourself be humble it's come and say I can't do any of this alone I need you I can't breathe without you everything I've ever had have or will have is only because of you and your grace and your mercy upon me I've had this vision for years now and I'll share it with you it's me in the middle of these dense forests okay I'm in a clearing maybe a hundred foot clearing circle clearing and I am there naked and just like shivered up like this okay as I'm looking around the circle there's wolves all around the circle I can see the eyes of these wolves hundreds of wolves just circling around none of them have been in the clearing they don't step into the clearing but they are focusing on me the whole time and I know and I'm aware and I've had this vision probably ten times over the last ten years that God's hand is on me and that's why these wolves cannot come but if he were to take his hand off then they could attack there's a reason why these wolves cannot attack because it's God's hand it's God's presence on me and I can tell you this I was praying the other day I'll share this with you I was praying I was wondering Lord thank God I haven't been attacked in so many horrible ways you know like I've had my share of life you know what I mean and experiences but a lot of people throughout my life even on YouTube here have said they'll place curses and all kinds of stuff right they're gonna send all kinds of stuff and in the beginning I used to think about it and now it's like I don't even care but the Lord put it on me you have no idea of what I've protected you from so understand that no matter what we go through a lot of times we like to say oh I can't believe look at me poor me this that look at the thing but we don't know what God has stopped we don't know what he has held back from us we don't know what he intervened for and stopped from even coming our way and that's what we cannot possibly understand about God so remember we're creation and he's the creator we're never going to fully understand but come out of this world we're called to do it leave the music leave the TV shows leave this movies it's doing nothing but dumbing you down it takes your time it takes your focus off of God and it it brings you right into the philosophy that this world's trying to program you with to accept they don't want you to they don't want you to have your own mindset they don't want you chasing God they don't want you pulling out of them plugging from their system they want you to just be a good little sheep being led to the slaughter and believe me hell is a real place and just as we did this video here many souls have fell, fallen into hell all around this world and many of them believe that they weren't going to go to hell so come out of this stuff stop relying on someone else to bring you Jesus Christ come and get on your knees get on your face cry out to God ask for repentance repent of everything you've ever done ask forgiveness ask him into your heart and he will come into your heart he's truly alive he works miracles every day countless miracles he saved me from hell and took my addictions believe me hell's a real place don't listen to people that say it's not don't follow the world if you're following the mainstream you're in trouble you have to fight the current believe me you can, you have to fight the you have to be opposed to what popular belief is and popular belief we know we're in an antichrist system we know this is Satan's world here we know that the most influential people in this world are in Satan's pocket and they're going to lead you astray if you want to be led astray so what I'm telling you is to repent to come out of this world and to follow Jesus Christ and to empty yourself out every day and to ask the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you in all that you do and you will feel it and he will help you to navigate through your day he will help you to navigate through your life and when you do turn off the TV and these movies and and you get rid of this music and instead of listening to music you pray or instead of watching TV you pray you will see your soul's going to just be energized that the Holy Spirit will come and fill you with such love and peace instead of the 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 garbage that you're filling yourself with otherwise please guys it's a distraction I'm telling you to come out of this world get on your knees and ask Jesus and don't rely on some preacher or priest to bring you Jesus Christ get on your knees and seek him now seek him now call out on him nobody else has any different you know line to Jesus than you do the Pope is just a man also he doesn't have some divine thing to to Jesus that you don't have 
You don't have to ask for someone else to take your prayers to Jesus Christ. Take your prayers yourself to Jesus Christ. Get on your knees and call out on Jesus. He listens to you. They don't want you knowing that. It, he listens to you. Get on your knees and cry out. He loves us all. You have to repent. You have to come to him. Come out of this world, guys, and empty yourselves out each day. Each day seek the Lord. God bless you guys.